What's up everybody? Bradley Flowers here with Portal Insurance and the Insurance Guys Podcast. Um, I've had quite a, quite a few of you uh, reach out to me in regards to my reaction video to uh, Agency Zoom being acquired by Vertifor. And unfortunately I was in Connecticut at a mastermind group with a lot of people that, that we all know in the insurance industry when it was announced, which was kind of interesting being in that room when that, when that news kind of broke. So unfortunately I didn't have a chance to film this reaction video. I saw Nicholas Ayers did one, uh, I'm sure it's great. I haven't watched it yet. I haven't actually watched or listened to anyone else's reactions because I kind of wanted to formulate my own opinion. So anyway, we did an Easy Link supplied video a while back that got a lot of attention. We'll link that up right here on YouTube if, if or, or whatever platform you're watching this on. Because so many people seem to have got some value out of the Easy Links and applied video, um, even though I'm kind of close to this situation where a I would say a power user of agency Zoom. I felt that my obligations to still do this, that way there was no perceived biases or anything like that. Uh, those of you that may wonder, hey Bradley, I saw you were on the, the advisory council for agency Zoom. Uh, does that make you too, too close to this to do a video? Well, I actually haven't even attended a meeting yet. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna move forward with that or not. You know, I can kind of see both sides. So, uh, without further ado, here's the press release that was sent out, I believe, on Thursday from Mo at Agency Zoom. Hey Bradley, earlier today it was announced that Vertifor acquired Agency Zoom, blah, 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 blah. Vertifor is a leader in modern insurance technology. Um, and you know, these kind of deals, you know, they're obviously kept very secret. This was literally the worst kept secret in the insurance industry. Uh, very behind closed doors. We never know. There may be some of our favorite companies right now that are in talks. Um, so you never kind of know what's going on with your vendors. Although you kind of want to know because you don't want to avoid one particular company and then go with another and then one day get an email, hey, you're now a part of whatever, right? But anyway, I go on paternity leave for two months and everything goes to crap. Like, like you can't even hold on until I'm back from paternity. Like, what in the heck is going on? Jointly delivering significant value in this community with our integration, Vertifor's acquisition of agency Zoom will establish long-term investment for Vertifor to can you continue to build on the momentum of agency Zoom sales and automation solutions, provide customers with access to a broad range of tools, strengthen Vertifor's suite of easy to use integrated solutions. So I will say from talking to the people at agency Zoom that the agency Zoom Vertifor integrations are stronger than the other integrations. Um, my biggest concern as a non-Vertifor user, we are on now certs, is that either A, Vertifor would come in and say, we're turning off all integrations other than the Vertifor integrations. The more I thought about it, uh, even though that would be a very big company thing to do, the more I thought about it, the less I think that that's going to happen. I think that would be very foolish. Um, simply because, I mean, a lot of their revenue is going to go walking out of the door. It probably already is a little bit with people making knee-jerk reactions. The flip side of that is, is I was worried about some of these other companies that integrate with Agency Zoom that we use and that, and even ones that we don't use uh, that are, uh, that'll say, no, we're not integrating with you anymore because they perceive Vertifor to be whatever. Obviously, I think there's a very real possibility that that happens. Um, I know I've personally talked to one of those integration partners and they assured me that that's not their MO, uh, that even though technically Vertifor now, or technically Agency Zoom now is owned by one of their competitors, biggest competitors, they still would be happy to integrate, which obviously, you know, hindsight's 2020, that status quo could change. Also the flip side, I've, I've heard rumors of another big integration partner that I'm not that tight with. Uh, that said they were willing to integrate as well, which is a really, really good sign for a lot of people. So I say all that to say, if I'm an agent using Agency Zoom, um, I wouldn't make any knee-jerk reactions. Certainly, I would keep my options open. And I'll be completely honest with you guys, right now in this room, as soon as I heard these rumors, I booked a demo with QQ. Did the demo, uh, it was okay. And I told the people in the demo, I'm not doing anything for at least six to eight months. I'm not gonna make a knee-jerk reaction. I don't think anyone should make a knee-jerk reaction to a, a big acquisition like this simply because nothing's really gonna change for at least six months to a year. 
and you would hate to make a knee-jerk reaction and then that acquisition make the product better or you make a knee-jerk reaction and then there's something else along the way that you would rather do. Switching systems is not only tough technologically and physically, but it's tough on your team too and your employees and, and getting used to these new systems and then you pull the ripcord again and go somewhere else. So that's kind of my thoughts as far as that goes. So one of the questions and the frequently asked questions that was sent out was, how, what, how does this impact current Vertifor and agencies and customers? There's no impact to products and services, billing, ongoing implementation, contacts, or contact methods. All product in integrations will not be impacted. There are no changes in pricing or contracts for existing customers. Any future operational or business changes will be communicated to the appropriate customers. So I say that to say that kind of supports my previous point, which is nothing's really going to change right now. They're planning business as usual, status quo. Everything is, is going to operate as normal. So that's a good sign. Also, no integration, no changes to integrations with, with other management systems. No impact to captive agencies, which is good. Like I said, I don't think there's any reason to panic. Now, my predictions of the direction that Agency Zoom is going. Now, I've talked to no one uh, at Vertifor. I actually have a call with Vertifor today. As soon as the announcement was, was posted, they reached out to me. When we did the Easy Link Supply video, and I'm going somewhere with this, when we did the Easy Link Supply video, we mentioned that you know, Vertifor bought QQ and kind of shelved it, kept kept it the same, but but didn't continue to advance it. Right after that, Vertifor reached out to me, had a great conversation with those guys. I have some friends that work there; they're awesome people. And I'll say this: everybody I know at Vertifor are awesome people. I had a conversation with them where they they said that's not really the case. Like they want to push QQ, and well, at the end of the day, all that matters is what the market thinks you are. You know, if you think you sell uh, flutes but you actually sell, the market thinks you sell guitars, you're a guitar seller, right? At the end of the day, that's all that matters. So that was the perception among agents that I had talked to on QQ is that Vertifor had bought it and not done anything with it. However, since I had that conversation with Vertifor, not saying I had anything to do with it at all, but since I had that conversation with Vertifor and they told me they were going to start pushing QQ more to smaller agencies, According to people I've spoken with who are on the platform, there have been pretty significant advances in the functionality of it, which is great. I think applied buying easy links, which was the perceived, in, the, the only system that end to end, everything flew, flowed, everything flew, flowed, flowed. Every, everything was seamless from start to finish. You know, intake, quote, management system, CRM, bind. Um, I think that woke Vertifor up a little bit in two respects. One, they really didn't have the end-to-end -end flow with the CRM and the Raider piece. But two, that left a huge gaping hole in the market for smaller agency management systems, right? You've got now search, which is kind of doing their thing, but has some, some areas they're lacking. And then that's Hawksoft is great company, great people, but there's limitations there. So I think it left this huge hole and I think Vertifor realized that. So I think this is Vertifor's attempt. And by the way, if anybody at Vertifor tells me this down the road and they're looking at this video, we told him that it was confident. We, he made a video about it. It is 9.30 a.m. Central Time on November the 22nd. So if you tell me after this, you can't go back. Just wanna put that out there. Um, I think this is Vertifor's attempt at building an end-to-end -end system, start to finish, intake, quote, buying management system. That's what I think they're trying to do. I think if they pull that off, it will be great for the independent agency channel. Um, I do, I think it's gonna be difficult to pull off, yes. Am I a little bit concerned? Yeah, I would be concerned with any acquisition of any product that we use. That's the idea. I think they're going after these mid-sized to small agencies like ours. Agency Zoom has a really good foothold in those, so that's what I think is happening. Again, I would not make a split decision if I was any of you guys, right? I would keep my options open and know what's out there and poke around, but I would not pull the ripcord today. Just sit back and wait and see what's going on. So those are my thoughts. I would love to get your thoughts in the comments. Please, depending on what platform you're on, like and subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think, tell me I'm an idiot. And again, I would, I would, I would like to say, you know, I'm just a dude, I have no inside information. I'm just a random insurance agent who feels like he has a pretty good beat of what's going on in some some corners of some small small corners of the industry. So I could be completely wrong. At, like anything else, we'll, we're happy to see what's happening. And 
I would also like to add, I'm super pumped for Mo and X. I think those are two of the best dudes in the industry. I know X a little bit better because I've been kind of in his ear on the dev side of things. I really think that they came out really, really good in this. I have no details whatsoever, but I'm super pumped for them. I mean, it's American Dream. Kind of like the EasyLink supply acquisition, I think if you're on QQ, and honestly, everybody I know that's on QQ is really pumped. If you're on QQ or AMS 360, if you're on one of those platforms, I think it's really, really, really good for you. Uh, if you're not on one of those platforms, I think it's still gonna be, I don't think it's gonna be good for you, but I don't think anything's gonna change at least for a while. So keep your eye on that and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. It's working. So we're making a video which involves liquor. Um, but it's also nine o'clock in the morning, so we're doing some movie tricks.